innovative, amazing science with Sunana. All is well with me, I guess so is with you. And today I am super thrilled to share another experience of my childhood. Are you ready? Spending time with Granny is always a carefree experience as you are free to do everything and anything. So usually I visited my granny whenever I had my vacations. So I still remember I was too small when my great granny was alive. So I, along with my granny, went to meet her. So we had lots of fun and we were just sitting and playing together. My aunt asked me the time. Before I could say the time, my great granny set the time roughly even without looking at the clock. I was surprised as to how it's possible. Then my granny started telling stories about time. She started explaining about an hourglass which was just kept uh, there. She said stories about the olden times and how people used to know the time and how devices were invented. I was very confused and did not understand at all. She even said how the sun also helped to know the time. I was even more confused because I was wondering how could a sun help to know the time. But finally, I understood the concept when I grew up. So let's see how you can make your own simple time device from the materials available at home. Are you ready? Let's get started. So for this activity, we have taken a craft paper or any paper, whatever you are having, any color will also do. And you have to cut it in a shape of a circle of your desired uh, diameter. So I have cut my craft paper. You require a protractor, a marker, pencil, a scale and some chits. And this color should be different from that craft paper. So what we are going to do, we know that this was our center point. So from the center point, we are just going to like draw a line like the clock exactly. So here I've drawn and let us mark this as 12 and this is also 12. And we will observe what is happening. So for observing, we have to just keep this side as PM and this side as A. So we know that 15 degree is actually like 1 R. So we will cut, take this protector and keep at the center and every 15 degree. Okay, here point. Okay, 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 so I have shown one side, so what we are going to do is, this is our 6 and this is our 6, so we will start drawing lines from the center. So, this is 12, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we will just mark as, we will take this, we will write the end. So, we are going to do the same for everything. So, 15 degree. Again, we will keep this here. So, 
So now if you observe carefully, our setup is ready. And at the center, I have fixed the thermocol and you can see all the time uh, is mentioned over here. So 12 is actually noon. So when the sun is directly on top of your head, it is like 12. So from here till it reaches here, it is PM. And from here till it comes back here, it is AM. So this is AM. And this is PM. So what we are going to do is we will take this pencil and put it at the center and keep our setup outside. Wherever like uh, you have to be very particular where to keep exactly. Where exactly you will get the rays of the sun. So we can start this like around 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock. It depends. So Exactly at 8 o'clock, we are going to keep this uh, outside or 9 o'clock, whatever time you like uh, think. So, we have to match this with our clock. Whether at 8 a.m., whether our, what do you say, the rays of the pencil falls here or not. Or if it is 9 a.m., whether the rays of the pencil or the shadow falls here or not so likewise we'll keep seeing for each and every hour so let's just go out and see whether our sundial is perfect or not now oh, it is 12 pm can you see the shadow it is exactly on 12 and if you just watch the clock it is also 12 that means we are right with time and our sundial is working perfectly 12 and 12 are matching together and it is exactly overhead so after one hour we are going to see what is happening will our shadow move to one or will it stay at its own place let's just watch after one hour so we are again here after one hour and it is 1 p.m. right now. Can you see the shadow is falling exactly on one and if you match that one with the timing of the clock, it is also 1 p.m. So we are going to meet again after one hour. So we are again back here after one hour and right now if you just look at the watch and it is 2 p.m. and let us just look at this paper where is the shadow exactly it is at 2 that means our sundial is in sync with the watch so exactly the shadow is at 2 p.m. so let's again wait for one more hour and by the time you all can have your lunch and we'll be back again at 3 p.m. So we are back again and now it is 3 p.m. exactly. Just take a look at the watch and that is also 3 p.m. And if you watch the shadow also, it is at 3 p.m. And one thing important I want to say you, the size of the shadow also at 3 p.m. is longer. And if you just take a look back, that at 12 p.m. the size of the shadow was smaller because we know that at 12 p.m. the shadow size is comparatively small as compared to the other timings. So again we are going to give a break of one hour and we will meet everyone at 4 p.m. So we are again back and now it is 4 p.m. and can you just observe the shadow? It is in synchronized with the time. Just watch the time over here. It's 4 here and the shadow is at 4. That means we are perfect. And if you just look at the size of the shadow also, it is long. Yes. And then after one hour, we are going to meet again at the same place. And we are going to see the shadow position. So after one hour, let's wait and watch what is happening to our shadow we are back again and now it is 5 pm just check the watch it is 5 pm exactly and let's look at the shadow can you see the shadow 
how long it is and i'll take a closer view just watch the shadow is exactly at 5 pm and the length of the shadow is even more longer if you just check to that of 12 pm the length of shadow is even more longer so let us just wait for one more hour and let us be back at 6 pm and let us just observe whether we are going to see the shadow if the sun will be there then definitely we are going to see the shadow if not let's just wait just i'll show this watch again it's exactly five and here the shadow is at five and it's looking pretty lovely hello we are back again at 6 pm just try to watch the time it's 6 and let us just try to observe the shadow although the rays of the sun has fainted but still a faint shadow just try to see it's a faint shadow uh, i'll just put my hands you can see the shadow rays it's very faint because the rays are very faint can you see the shadows and it's quite long try to observe it's a little difficult but let's observe so now let us just understand the science behind our activity so we just made a simple sundial so let's understand what is a sundial a sundial is a device that tells the time of day when there is sunlight by the apparent position of the sun in the sky. In the narrow sense of the word, you can say that it consists of a flat plate, that is a dial, and an omon, that's a thin rod, which casts a shadow onto the dial. As the sun appears to move across the sky, the shadow aligns with different R lines, which are marked on the dial, to indicate the time of the day and we know that the 15 degrees of longitude is equal to one hour difference so in our experiment we already drew the time and tried to match it with the sun rays falling on the pencil which acted as our gnomon we came to a conclusion that the shadows of the pencil changes as well reflecting the change in time so i'm super happy to make this simple sundial you can just try this activity and check your time as well isn't that cool if you enjoyed this activity do give it a like and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet do press the notification bell which is right there on your screen and if you want to share your experience with everyone do put it in the comment section or do write a mail so that in my future upcoming videos, I can share your experience through an experiment with everyone. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.